pop quiz hot shot yes that's right it is time for pop quiz hot shot i've not done a pop quiz in so long i'm so excited um with, with the very imminent release of the James Gunn Suicide Squad, you know, reboot slash sequel slash prequel, whatever it is, it, it looks very good. I'm very, very excited for this movie to come out. I cannot wait. I thought because of that, I'd do a Suicide Squad movie quiz because, you know, ties in, everything, you know, makes sense and it'll be really good. Now, from what I can tell, I've not seen any questions on this quiz but I did scroll through and there is a lot of questions. So we're going to get straight to it. And then what I'm going to do, like I do with all quizzes, I'm going to put the questions up here so that you can play along with me. After every question, I'll give you five seconds so that you can kind of get your answer and see how well you do. You know, see if you can beat my score, basically. I am yet to get 100% on any quiz. I'm hoping this could be the one because, you know, if it's about the Suicide Squad movie, I know quite a bit about that because I've seen it a few times. It's actually a pretty decent movie. Let's see how we do. Do I look to be in a gaming mood? So yeah, if you also want to take the quiz with me, if you go along to zoo.com, uh, it is the Take the Painless Suicide Squad quiz. So here we go. Scroll to start the quiz. In the beginning, what is the safety precaution for handling Harley Quinn? Electrified prison bars, tasers, knockout gas or tranquilizer darts? Here come your five seconds. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure. Is it electrified prison bar? We'll go with that. Yes, I was right. 100% so far. We're doing good. We're doing good. I like a good start. I like a good, a good easy first question just to ease into it. Amanda Waller talks about how Superman was influential in world events. Why did this spark the creation of the Suicide Squad? The world suddenly had so many supervillains. The country lost a reliable superpowered alien. The country had to develop more superheroes. The country needed its own superpowered operatives. Here come your five seconds. Now, I can't really remember a specific line from this movie that really gives us the answer that we want. I'm just going to go with the country needed its own superpowered operatives. I was right because I'm a genius. We're doing good so far. I'm going to get 100%. Here we go. What is Deadshot's weakness? He's not superhuman. His daughter. He's obsessed with money. He can't use knives. Here come your five seconds. Now, he's not a superhuman, but I'm going to go with his daughter because it, that seems to be quite a big plot point of that movie. I'm right. Damn it. Three out of three. Oh, I shouldn't get too excited. I should never get too excited about these. Blink and you'll miss it. What was the funniest weapon of which Deadshot was an expert? A derringer, a flare gun, a potato cannon or a musket? Here come your five seconds. I have absolutely no idea. I don't remember a potato cannon, a musket, or even really a flare gun in that movie. I'm going to go with Derringer. A potato cannon? What the hell? Was that even in the movie? What's, what's going on? What is... There goes my 100%, but a potato... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I give up already. In the comic books, what was Deadshot's original goal? He just wanted to get rich, he wanted to kill Batman, he wanted to be Gotham's crime boss, he had a need to kill people. Here come your five seconds. Uh, I'd, I've not really read any original Deadshot, uh, uh, you know, origin stories. Uh, I'm just going to go with he just wanted to get rich, because I think he was like a merc for hire. He wanted to be Gotham's crime boss. Well, that kind of goes hand in hand with what I said. So, technically, I was right on that one. What was Harley Quinn's original job? Nurse, waitress, psychiatrist, scientist. Here come your five seconds. Now, in the movies and the current canon, she is a psychiatrist because she deals with the Joker and that's why she falls in love with him. So, yeah, psychiatrists.
I do apologise. There's a lot of pop-up ads on this this website. For someone so deadly, what life skill did Harley Quinn lack? Keeping her mouth shut, making friends, swimming, or finding the right man for her? Well, pff, here come your five seconds. Well, it could be really any one of those, couldn't it? Uh, I'm going to say... I, I don't know. Uh, finding the right man for her? I don't know. Swimming. As we find out in the movie's opening scenes, it's either she can't swim or she's not very good at it. Is it even though she kind of fights Batman underwater. I don't know. What is wrong with these quizzes? They're so stupid. What makes the character of Harley Quinn different from all the others when it comes to how she was created? She was originally from the Batman cartoons. She was the only one tied directly to Batman. She is the only villain certified to be crazy. She is the one with no superpowers. Here come your five seconds. Now, as we've already discovered with this quiz, there are several supervillains without superpowers. Uh, it, she was originally from the Batman cartoons. I know that she was created by Paul Dini uh, for the animated series. And she became so popular, they added her to the comics. So, yeah, there you go. Bonus bit of trivia. In the comic books, with who does Harley Quinn also have a sort of serious relationship? Deathstroke, Batman, Poison Ivy, Nightwing. Here come your five seconds. Now, I can't remember what animated movie that I watched that I saw this in. Um... I'm pretty sure she has intercourse with Nightwing. So I'm going to go with Nightwing. Poison Ivy. What the hell? Oh, my goodness. Because I know she sleeps with Deadshot as well. So Poison Ivy. I know I know she, she gets quite close with Poison Ivy. But I don't know. This is not going well at all. But I hope you're doing better than what I am. Uh... Why is Digger Harkness, the bank robber, so unique? He hates authority, he can kill without mercy, he is ruthless, he's an expert, expert boomerang user. Here come your five seconds. Now, yeah, again, it could be any one of them, but it is the boomerang thing, isn't it? He, you know, that's, he's, he's Captain Boomerang. So, yeah. Strange. Although it's not a weakness, Captain Boomerang has a strange character quirk seen only in the movie version. What was it? He likes pink unicorns. He does not work well with others. He hates using costumes. He has no friends. Here come your five seconds. Again, it could be any one of these, but uh, yeah, it's the pink unicorn thing because I thought that was very Deadpool-esque. At the time I've seen it. Maybe they ripped it off from Deadpool. I don't know. While most of the Suicide Squad members are Batman rogues. Which, with which hero has Captain Boomerang tangled? Flash, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, Vixen. Here come your five seconds. Yeah, it's the Flash, isn't it? He's a Flash. Uh, he's one of Flash's rogues. Um straightforward really yeah we i think we even see him in the suicide squad movie so there you go given how powerful el diablo is how did the police catch him he surrendered he passed out from smoke inhalation he used his power for too long he was doused with water here come your five seconds But yeah, in the movie, that character's whole arc really is about how he wants redemption. So I'm going to say he surrendered. So yeah, he surrendered to the police because he felt bad for what he did. Given what we get to see later on in the movie, what is the source of El Diablo's power? He is a natural metahuman, a demon-like spirit, magic or cybernetic implants. Here come your five seconds. What kind of cybernetic implants would give you fire powers? Uh, he's a demon-like spirit. I'm not sure if that's the same as in the comics, but yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool way to go, especially in the movie. That was really one of the better characters from that movie. What's one big reason Batman probably had no problem pulling his punches against Harley Quinn? 
She has a reputation for being crazier than the Joker. Batman is an equal opportunity guy in this day and age. He very well should be. Batman set out to find Joker. She helped kill Robin. Here come your five seconds. Uh, I'm going to go with she has a reputation for being crazier than the Joker because, no, she helped kill Robin. Well, it's not really explained, is it? Because it doesn't, it didn't get explained in the movie and it's not part of the comic canon, so that is a stupid question. When Waller talks about Waylon Jones as evolution taking a step backwards, what did it really mean? Jones has incredible hinting instincts. Jones hated other people. Jones was more like a reptile than a man. Jones was antisocial. Aren't we all? Here come your five seconds. Uh, I'm going to just say Jones was more like a reptile than a man because it's a step back on evolution. Yeah, I was right. It's what a, what a ridiculous question. You really have to get into the psychology for some of these. Befitting his nickname, what did they feed Killer Croc? The biggest burgers they could find, no veggies. Raw dead animals, meat with lots of blood. Here come your five seconds. There could be either two of those, meat with lots of blood or raw dead animals. I just, aren't they one in the same? You know, a meat with lots of blood is a raw dead animal. I went with raw dead animals and I was right. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. I don't know. What's Killer Croc's greatest weakness? He has bad eyesight. He doesn't think much. He needs a lot of water. He is afraid of light. Here come your five seconds. I just... It's... Uh, he doesn't think much. I don't know. They kind of portray him to be a bit thick, don't they? Yeah, it's... In most of his comic book appearance, Killer Croc is usually outsmart. These questions are just getting worse and worse. There's no wonder I'm not getting 100% because these... This stupid. Why did Amanda Waller save the Enchantress for last in her list of super operatives? Because she's a real magical witch? Because she was the weirdest? Because she cared for the Enchantress. Because she was the only girl aside from Harley. Here come your five seconds. Uh, uh, because, she, uh, because she's a real magical witch. Yeah. I, I apologise for some of these. Um, I really do. Because that's just stupid. <laughs> what the hell? What did Amanda Waller do to ensure there are controls for the Enchantress? They found a way to throw the spirit out of the body. They have a bomb placed in her. They literally have her heart. They gave her a place of power. Here come your five seconds. Yeah, they literally have her heart. That's the answer because she has it in some weird box. I'm not even sure if there's like a bomb on it or something. I don't know. It's locked up and she has her heart. I've just noticed you can get hints on these. I'm glad I'm not doing any of that because that would just be cheating. In the comic books, what is the Enchantress is big weakness. I don't know. The Enchantress is not a physical fighter. June Moon can still exert her will on the Enchantress. June Moon is good the enchantress is evil the enchantress is weak against silver and wood here come your five seconds now again i, I don't read a lot, a lot of the comics so i don't know i've read some batman stuff but not a lot but to me, question two, answer two and three are pretty much exactly the same. Um, I'm just going to go with June Moon can still exert her will on the Enchantress. No. June Moon is good. The Enchantress is evil. Now tell me those answers aren't pretty much exactly the same. How are you doing, by the way? Let me know in the comments. As above, so below. Slipknot suffered the same fate in both comic books and the movie. What was it? 
He was taken out the Suicide Squad for being weak. He knocked himself out early in the fight. He proved that mini bombs were real. He preferred to stay in prison. Prison. Here come your five seconds. Yeah, he was there to show that the bombs were. He's just a character that got thrown into the storyline because they needed someone to die, and he's not a very popular character. So yeah, he proved that the mini bombs were real. Sacrificial lamb, I believe, is the is the term for that. Who did Amanda Waller trust to lead a group of supervillains in the field? Deadshot, Rick Flag Jr., Captain Boomerang, El Diablo. Here come your five seconds. Yeah, it was Rick Flag Jr. Rick Flag. Uh, some of these questions are super easy, and some of these questions are just dumb. They're not hard, they're just dumb. So the ones I've got wrong, it's not because they are hard, it's because they are dumb. What is the Suicide Squad's real name? Task Force X, Villain Corrections Unit, Metahuman Special Unit, Deep Black Unit. Here come your five seconds. Yeah, here's one I definitely know. It's Task Force X. Um, I'm not really sure the, the origins of all of that, but yeah, Task Force X. During the Pentagon meeting, what ability did Amanda Waller force Enchantress to show? Energy blasts, shape changing, turning people into stone, tracking and teleportation. Here come your five seconds. Uh, yeah, it was tracking and teleportation because she disappeared and came back with some plans for some nukes or something, didn't she? Yeah, tracking and teleportation. Easy. Why is Amanda Waller so dangerous? She's a retired military specialist. She's willing to do anything for her goals. She has metahuman powers. She has the right connections. Here come your five seconds. Uh, I th she's willing to do anything for her goals. So I suppose. I suppose that's kind of her character arc in that film. Yes, she's willing to do anything for her goals, and she has the right connections. What is Amanda Waller's control on Rick Flag? She knew he would always follow orders. She let Flag fall in love with June Moon. She knew he believed in the same goals as she had. She knew he had ambitions too. Here come your five seconds. Yeah, he fell in love with June Moon, aka Enchantress, and it's kind of she controls Enchantress, so now she controls Rick Flag. Yeah, I was right. Again, not a stupid question, so I got it right. What was Enchantress's game all along to free herself from June Moon's body, to make Rick Flag kill everyone else, to influence Waller to take over the world, to free her powerful brother? Here come your five seconds. Now it says game all along. She did free her powerful brother, but was that to free herself from June Moon's body as well? It's not very clear, is it? Or am I just being dumb? I'm going to go with to free herself from June Moon's body. If this is wrong, this is a fix. To free her powerful brother. No, it wasn't because she did that very early in the movie and then went off and done something else. So this. I'm not angry. I'm just upset. I'm just disappointed. Who turned out to be the Joker's inside man to contact Harley? Griggs, the senior warden in Bell Reeve, El Diablo, Digger Harkness, or Slipknot? Here come your five seconds. It was, it was the senior warden, the guy that he kind of cornered in a, a casino type thing. Yes, I was right. Again, a straightforward, simple question. What was Joker's first stop before going after Harley? Arkham Asylum, the Nanite Bomb Makers, the local gangs, corrupt military officers. Here come your five seconds. Uh, the Nanite Bomb Makers, I think. 
if I'm if I'm remembering that correctly. Or did he go to Arkham first? I don't know. Who cares? The Nanite Bomb Makers. I was right. Stupid. How many more questions have I got? I think I've got quite a few left. <laughs> this is like the worst quiz ever. I'm so bad. I'm so unhappy that I picked this. A little history. Ooh. When Harley was pulling clothes out of her suitcase, she first pulled out a black and red leotard. Why is it so important? It's fresh from the laundry. It's the original costume design. It has sentimental value. It's tattered. Here come your five seconds. Well, yeah, I mean, it has sentimental value, doesn't it? Uh, but yes, the original costume design from the animated series that we discussed earlier. Uh, created by Paul Dini. Why is Midway City an important part of the DC world? It is, it, it is a city that hadn't been hit by metahuman activity before the Suicide Squad movie. It was originally Hawkman's and Hawkgirl's main city. It's a middle city where many heroes pass through. It is where Deadshot lives. Here come your five seconds. Now, if you know the answer to this, you are a genius, because is this part of the movie canon or the comic book canon? It doesn't say. It's just asking a stupid question with no, you know, unless you're an absolute, you know, connoisseur of Batman lore. How are you going to know? Not just Batman lore, DC lore. Um, why is Midway City an important part of the DC world? Uh... <clears throat> It is a middle city where many heroes pass through. That's what I'm going for. I was wrong. It was originally Hawkman's and Hawkgirl's main city. Because we all knew that, didn't we? Because that's part of the movie. This is, suicide, this is a Suicide Squad movie quiz. And that is not mentioned at all. Who in the squad had a working relationship with Batman in the comic books, but isn't a supervillain? Katana, Rick Flag Jr., June Moon, El Diablo. Here come your five seconds. The only one here that I know is not a villain is Rick Flagg Jr. I think. Pretty sure Katana was at some point, but she's not in the movie. No, it's Katana. Yes, of course it is, because that is explained in the movie as well, isn't it? No, it's not. What was part of Harley's initiation as the Joker's number one girl? She killed people, she followed him around, she jumped into the chemical vats that Joker fell into, she promised to never leave him. Here come your five seconds. Uh, well, she jumped into the chemical vat, but it doesn't mean he, it's she's his number one girl, because he doesn't even like her that much. It was right, but stupid. I th What was Amanda Waller observing with such interest in Midway City? The zombie hordes of Enchantress and her brother. How June Moon could fight off the Enchantress. How the zombie plague could be stopped. How an atomic bomb could affect magic. Here come your five seconds. As you can tell by my body language, I've given up this quiz. It's absolutely pointless, so I'm just going to guess. Uh, the zombie hordes of Enchantress and her brother. I was right. Yippee. Yay. Go me. Aren't I a genius? Your score, 74%. You're a true expert. You got 26 correct out of 35. You scored better than 74% of quiz takers. Your score is 74%. Average score is 65%. That was horrible. That was a horrible, horrible quiz. And I apologise to anyone watching that had to go through that with me. But yes, that was Pop Quiz Hot Shot. Again, as you can tell by my demeanour, I'm very upset by that. Because I, I mentioned it a lot. Those questions were just stupid. It's a, It was a quiz for... The Suicide Squad movie. 50% of those questions had nothing to do with the movie. They had to do with the comic book lore, which is not mentioned in the movie. Like, the thing about Hawkman and Hawkgirl's city, 
That's not. They're not even in the movie. They're not even mentioned. Stupid, ridiculous. I hope you've done better than me, though. I let me know in the comments how well you did on this quiz. I'm glad I didn't get 100% on that because it wouldn't have been worth it. I would not have been happy because it was stupid. I hate it. I hate this quiz. And yeah, don't ever take it. Thank you for watching. I do apologise. Um, I'll speak to you soon. I can't wait for the Suicide Squad movie. Goodbye.